So what's interesting is we have been doing a great job on getting these counterfeiters stopped. And if you have watched my prior videos and they're short ones, you know, we went through a lot of stress and that stress still continues. It's like whack-a-mole trying to get rid of counterfeiters. Our Plexiderm product is right now a best-selling product and unfortunately, we, you know, we have to keep vigilant on just stopping them every step of the way. So we've gotten almost every reseller down off Amazon, but we have to stay on top of Amazon because somehow they sneak back in and there are resellers in America and there are Chinese resellers and it becomes a difficult problem to police um, Amazon, but we're managing to do it. We have a team of people working on it. Um, eBay is a different story. We have to continually every day submit to them to try to get all of the resellers down and we've done a really good job of that. Uh, and a lot of the other uh, shopping sites, same thing. The difficulty that we're having right now, there's, there's two things that came up which you'll find very interesting. In order to stop products coming in bulk to our country from China, you have to submit to um, the customs authority and actually register your product, your trademark with customs so that they can be notified and if by chance they can stop product from coming in, they'll stop it and they'll, they'll quarantine it. The problem we've had is that three months ago we submitted our trademarks to customs and they still haven't approved our trademarks as, um, you know, a, a, with customs. So what's happened is, is customs actually notified us that Plexiderm was entering the country. We said, all right, let's, let's stop it. And they can't stop it because it's not registered yet, which unfortunately is not our fault. It's customs fault that they can't process our application quick enough, but it's, it's, it's so exhausting. So I'll tell you that the thing that popped up today, which I think you'll find very interesting. One, we've stopped most of the counterfeiters on these shopping sites and what they've done is gone to coupon sites. So they're offering these cheap coupons for customers to get to buy Plexiderm. And if the customer registers their email address with them, they email them directly and they try to sell them discounted prices on fake counterfeit Plexiderm. It's so upsetting, so I'm handling this now. I'll let you know how it goes and what we do to stop them. Again, we have the FBI involved. We have our attorneys involved. We have, um, you know, all of the shopping sites are involved. Now, this is something new, so I'd love to see if anyone has any comments on, on how to get by this and, and stop them through, uh, through these, these sites. We're going to contact Google today and see what happens. Thanks.